Thank you. Right. And then, yeah, get rid of that. Dusk, very first time I've played it. I've, uh, I've been meaning to for a while. Um, frame rate on cat. Dusk Noir. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's really cool. Strelok. Cold. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really cool. This is uh, this is awesome. Jensen, music machine. Whoa, that's painful. Okay, this is really oh, <laughs> clown vomit. <laughs> Oh, gee, excuse me. Opposites. Oh, wow, negatives. Well, either Dusk or Dusk Noir. So let's go, um, oh, actually, what's... Oh, Vivid is nice. But Dusk Default, you know. Customize Crosshair. Um... Boom, 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 boom. Sort of just like the dot, to be honest. Okay, advanced display. Mm. Low spec mode. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay. Feel. Uh, difficulty X. Accessible? Yeah, accessible. Why not? Mm. Auto control standard auto combine. Yeah. Okay. Let's crank that a little bit. Because it's very loud. of any skill level, easy difficulty, medium difficulty, hard difficulty, and their attacks kill in one hit, what the fuck, Jesus, um, yeah, I can take it, God knows I probably can't, but you know, David and Andrew. Peanut butter and chocolate. Kill the intruder. Ooh. Okay, eat a grub. Nice. Uh -huh. Kill the intruder. This feels pretty fantastic already. I found a secret.
Nice. Well, it definitely feels like a new blood game. That's like smooth, fast. Feels very nice. Sacrifice. Oh, hell yeah. Kill you. So I've seen uh, bits and pieces and know little bits and pieces about the game. But, uh... <laughs> Never actually had the chance to play it until now. So it's like, I understand the gist of it, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, never got the chance to actually. God, I feel so. So smooth and so fast. Sounds, sounds, as you'd expect. Come on. See if I can get my angle right. Ah. Yeah, nothing up there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clog the toilet. 
What the? Also, I find it funny that uh, you can um, kill an enemy with the soap. It's the soap button. Um, I think it was like somebody. Somebody complained. I think it was like somebody complained about the soap being a weapon. But, um. So they turned around and one of the updates said, uh, nice. One of the updates includes a, a patch that makes the soap do like 10 million damage or something. So, so old school. It's super, super fast, like. again outdoing himself with the music as he always does Give me that. <gasps> okay. it's stuck apparently yeah it's a shame I can't get that but that's fine fast but you can also you get the timing down right and you're uh, you can absolutely get an insane amount of speed four out of six Jeez. Why access is unlocked by a default to a flip? Down on the farm. been designed that you just move so fast.
such a nice shotgun. Such a lovely feeling. Fast, you've got to be fast too. Something I killed. Kill with soap. Not believe. Hey. fast it takes a little bit to actually get used to it. I'm definitely gonna need those. can for secrets. Secrets. Ah, done it. I can get the angle right. You get up and 
over. It's getting the timing right is the, the hard part. sooner or later. Scarecrow with a shotgun. So uh, it's my na the name of my new my new upcoming metal band, Scarecrow with a shotgun. on um on one hit. It's a little bit too crazy. Hello hell. Here, boys. Come get me. <laughs> I mean, you feel you feel very vulnerable, but at the same time. Secret door opens. Yeah, at the same time, it just. You also do feel like a. an intense. massacring force. I am here to bring you retribution. Especially given how fast you move. So, a secret door opens, huh? Mm. And so I'm absolutely loving that, uh, we sort of kicked off, I mean, Dusk was one of the mains, but... 
Excuse me. Excuse me. It, um... Do you feel intoxicated? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, my aiming's all fucked up. Oh. I am absolutely loving that, like, dusk and a medieval and all of these titles kicked off this new wave of boomer shooters, basically. I mean, I hate, I, I don't hate, but I don't like using the term boomer shooters. It's a bit, um, a bit disingenuous to, you know, what they actually are. But, um, hmm. I, um, I'm absolutely loving that we've got all these crazy, crazy new ideas that have come. Mm. And especially after playing Cultic as well, that's, um, that really gave me that new appreciation again of, uh, being back with the old school, old school shooters, just feels good, man. Oh, I don't like that. So how in the world do you suppose that you get up on top of the bar? Hmm. I mean, without... If you can get yourself into the rhythm and hang on to it, you, you get like insane amounts of speed up. But it's not not very easy. Like the timing has to be just right. Certainly feels like I've, I've missed a, a big something two out of six, yeah. The replayability is pretty massive if you wanna go. Yeah, you can replay any level you've beaten from level select, so No turning back now. Okay. It's the replayability of like finding all the secrets alone is a a pretty uh, a pretty big deal. I'm not gonna find anywhere near all of them. Need the red key. Oh. 
Same as uh, same as cultic, same as a medieval, same as all of these. If you've uh, if you're an old old school shooter fan, you'd be very well served because all the old rules apply of finding the uh, find the secrets because they're all. All hidden in the um, the same sort of style. Why well, you've been if you're used to hunting secrets in old school shooters, it's very much the same. Ah, uh, it's one of my one of my most favourite. Favorite tracks. I think it's a uh, hand cannon. Here lies Hanks. He, <laughs> Hank, he was too good for endless mode. Grave digger. No. Dead, they don't need it anymore. I'm loving the interactivity. It's like small details really help the flow. Okay, so I needed the, uh, the red key. And just about everything being destructible is uh, always, always nice. And the fact that it reminds you of things. Like, I mean, the game could tell me 50 times press F for flashlight and I won't get sick of seeing it because there is times I have played games and I'm like I haven't had to use a key for like an hour you know what what was that key again <laughs> oh, this is getting Use flashlight. <laughs> All right. I love I can reload at any time. Sort of. 
Islands. I'm being drawn over here. <gasps> Although that may just be me being a paranoid old gamer. It's like, oh, I think I think there could be something there, but <laughs> it could just be a, a graphical choice, you know. throw things like dusk dude is so absolutely so ah, so absolutely metal that you can just like pick up anything and use it as a weapon glad your voice is doing better things here very well not 100 percent but it's uh it's definitely getting there You know what, I'm just going to double check that. So, okay. And I can't go that way because it's caved in. Punchy sounds. Very punchy sounds. anything there. That. machine gun. A, that was a trip out. Play Polly Guns is also my stripper name. Kill him. Kill him. See, if I was smart, I could have just, uh, I could have just jumped up and out of the way and thrown shit at him, but, uh, you know, I'm not that smart. You know, it's like a, um, wow, so that's what it did. Alright, 
mind that. It's like I said before, um, the <laughs> scarecrow with a shotgun is my new metal band name. Here. Everything. God, the design is just it's so spot on. subverting expectations. Mm. And that old school shit, where do I go now? Like... But then, uh... We traded God for demons. Jesus. David does really good level design. He understands level design because same as uh, Jason who did Cultic. It's um, it feels it feels right. It feels normal to. hoping to get back up there but you know what um it's the same as the old build engine which sort of to me cemented how level design should be because of the oh boy Son of Intoxicator, who we meet later. But, um, like, I talked about it during, uh, Cultic actually, but, um, yeah, it gets smashed. I'm so drunk, I can't even freaking. Can't even, uh, focus on actually picking up the bottle but I really want the morale <laughs> yeah I, um, I talked about it during cultic because it was very much the same where the build engine the way the limitations of the build engine worked it made it so much easier to have roundabout levels which is what a lot of Duke blood shadow warrior um, uh, what's it bloody before all them the very first one um, they all end up going around on themselves so you can um, don't mind me just level the secret checking <laughs> you um, end up 
sometimes going as far as like ending up at your starting point because of it was just easier to have the level kind of land on itself. <laughs> One out of five. And like all these guys have actually taken that and run with it so all the levels are self-contained. It's not you go, you spend five minutes walking forward, you know. You find a locked door. You don't know where the key for it is, but you get the key, and then it actually sends you, you know, you like, oh, there's a pit, so you drop down a pit, and you find yourself at the start, like, back at the door where you need to be so it just you know it's good level design is not having to backtrack for five minutes to open the door that you just got the key to in you know my opinion my shitty own opinion <laughs> Congrats, you've unlocked the bonus level. Puking into a trash bin while you nurse your hangover. <laughs> or uh, puking into a toilet during a uh, company pizza party. But anyway. <laughs> Honestly, do. Uh, Kill him. I do actually miss miss that job a lot sometimes. It's good times. Even the uh, even the the times where I I wasn't in such good shape, but you know. <laughs> feels so nice to use. You just miss being able to tell Karen to actually, I'm the manager. <laughs> I mean, well, you're not wrong. I do miss, I do miss uh, telling somebody that, no, you are wrong. Well, I will, I want to talk to your manager. I want to tell them how not wrong I am. Well, <laughs> guess what? If I got news for you, you're, uh, you're staring right at them. Oh, that's a fantastic freaking. Oh, that feels so good. Shell ever manages to somehow make a soundtrack that isn't simply amazing and uh, absolutely godlike. I really want to hear it. <laughs> That's what it is work. He is pleased. Yeah. And I mean, let's face it, an old school. 
old school design shooter that does not have an absolutely spot on amazing shotgun is just not worth playing. have amazing level design, fantastic sound, great soundtrack, but if, mm, if the, uh, if you include a shotgun, or a shotgun type weapon, that does not make me feel like a god to use it, then, sorry loses a lot. His door opens elsewhere. Mm. Nope, nothing. Mm. So one thing I already knew about Dusk was pull a switch and check a few steps back just in case that's uh slightly discombobulating But that's not such a bad thing. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, yes. Sometimes having just some obvious. Uh, Obvious secrets does not go astray. He is all around you. Mm. That's, uh, that's a little bit troubling. <gasps> bum bum bum. Look at that. <laughs> Don't finish lives. All right, so that pops me back out of here, which in turn. Very powerful. Oh yeah, that reminds me actually. Hmm. Next time I get a matey. <laughs> Play hockey with his body. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, it's three out of four, not bad. Press any key to enter the horror. Yeah, cook and eat viscera over a campfire to restore lost health. I gotta say, that's pretty fucking metal. Sawdust. Big boy weapons. <laughs> this barrel just rockets off into the atmosphere. <laughs> Is it weird that I prefer the pre-quake FPS games? Not really. I can see why. I mean, this uh, this movement style and everything isn't for everybody. Never has been. But I I very much enjoy both. Very much. and like sharp environment textures. Quake era had the wonky triangle, enemies and blurry textures. where that comes from mainly because Oops. yeah I'm very much a fan of um, like both sort of build engine and um, Yeah, I like both um, the move to 3D, like the Quake era stuff. And the old, uh, the old build era 2D. I, I really don't mind both because I sort of grew up on both. The quake was always too fast. fast. Bleh. Too fast paced. For me. No, I can see that. A lot of people say the same thing. Um, like, there's lots of people that just don't like the movement speed of quake. Uh, 
Ah. There we go. And I mean, that's why... Oh, Crying out loud. That's why I love these games. Aha! Oh, Jesus. You should stream the KISS game if you can get it to fucking run. Yes. I will. I will absolutely stream it because I only ever have very, very faint memories of it from back in the day. And I know, even back then, getting it to run was an absolute bitch of a thing. And, um, as far as I remember, it actually didn't sell really probably as well as it should have. And, um, it feels like it was very much forgotten, but that's only because of the fact that it wasn't, um, like it wasn't real well received because it wasn't very, uh, it wasn't very easy to get working. I remember lots of people complaining that they had troubles with it. way better than an official KISS game deserves to be. <laughs> and the soundtrack is amazing. Funniest thing is it has nothing to do with KISS. Maybe that's why it's pretty amazing. Oh! Oh! Yeah. I, uh, yeah, the game's composers were better than the band. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there is some, you know, classic, classic KISS songs, but, uh, honestly, that's, they're not the be-all, end-all that people sort of make them out to be in my eyes. Also, I love the, uh, it's a shame I didn't actually see that earlier, but, you know, I love the, uh, countdown wheel for your power-ups that appears around the, uh, crosshairs. That's a fantastic, it's a neat little addition. crazy good scary ass enemies like a clown with spider legs fuck that that's the shit of my freaking nightmares an opera singer that throws exploding brains jesus christ that's metal as fuck yeah few good tra uh, tracks but glam rock has been done better by other bands yeah I mean you know Twisted Sister and uh, bands like that and D Snyder isn't D Snyder isn't a fucking massive piece of shit love you D
There's a song on the actual Kiss album that's I pledge allegiance to the state of rock and roll, which sounds like a fucking ACDC song title. <laughs> yeah, my grandma described Kiss to me as a vehicle for merchandise. Jeez, doesn't that fucking... That really... Feels about right, actually. D. Snyder's wife is hot as fuck. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, Dee's a, a very lucky man. But, you know, like, was, look at all the shit that happened. It was... Gene, Gene Simmons turned out to be a bit of a... freaking arsehole. Although I think we sort of already knew that, but... You know. But, this is... <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, man, that's good. <laughs> oh man. So did I get everything from down there? <laughs> Fuck the Knicks! <laughs> oh, we got that Mangol Sentinel. Scoops. Scoops hugging us. Hey, yo. Fuck the Knicks. <laughs> Fuck the Knicks. Best use of Wombo Combo I ever saw was in a chess match! Mm. I can hear that motherfucker scraping around somewhere. I just don't know where. Well, there's the red key. Would have helped if I opened my eyes. Mm. Oh, that's where I came in, Doy. Feelings are very much off today. Ah, 
ha, ha, yes. If I was quick enough. But that's alright, I'll take one with me. Because I'll probably need it. Game's story revolves around a KISS tribute band who suddenly receives superhuman powers. <laughs> the LMAO and the cover band is better than the original. Oh. That's, uh, that's some, that's some good schadenfreude. Keep losing my frickin' Keep dropping my bloody crystal of madness. Yeah, I um I remember it had like a, a pretty sort of out there storyline where um Oh gee, excuse me. It's based around the four like kiss um what do you call it? Personalities. So like the Star Child and ah, oh, break the friggin'. It's fine. They weren't human. <laughs> they uh, they certainly weren't. To the cutting man. It's not going to let me back out, is it? No. Oh well. Select intruder mode to start each level with only your sickles. Jesus. Yeah, it's like each um each of the members gets a um it's like the star child, the 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 I Jesus. It's been so long I can't remember. I think Ace is space theme, yeah. It's um I think Ace gets like the Star Child. Um, Watsy gets the the massive. Um, it's like massive cat claws, and I don't know. I remember it being like. Um, oh, oh. Ah. I had to scratch my back. Couldn't reach. Um, I remember it being very yeah I remember it being like a, a really cool concept I remember seeing it and thinking like well that's like a, a really cool idea but there was just so many problems actually getting it out of the gate to even begin with. So. I do want to actually try it though. I would not be surprised if there is um, all sorts of patches and whatnot to try and get it working. I mean, even if I have to do it through a uh, like a VM, 
But yeah, it takes place in four chapters, one for each member. I remember it having... I remember bits and pieces. I'm going to have to dig through my old magazines now and see if I can find... Um, See if I can find the um, the review for it because I remember that it was praised for having like a whole lot of crazy new ideas. At, I mean, for the time, um, but it mainly got overshadowed. Mainly got overshadowed by other releases. Uh, yeah, it might have to be done on Win 2000 emulator. Because I've got a, um, a 98 VM set up. Always ready to go. Just for stuff like that. So, you know what? I am fairly certain I actually have a copy. I have to dig through my boxes. I'm fairly certain I actually have an original, like, CD version. I don't have the box, but I definitely remember having the CD. Like, I've got the... Jesus. I've got the, uh... The case and I think it's the case and the manual. I have to double check that. I'm actually super keen to see if I can actually get it running. I mean, it might be a bit of a challenge, but... Oh, excuse me. It's not like I shy away from a technical challenge. Yeah, sometimes games with major licenses just get so much money thrown at them, they become something way cooler than the producers could ever imagine. But they don't bother to promote it as much, thinking it'll be shit. Yes. Spider-Man movie game for 2002 had so much content because the devs were done. Had a ton of time and money left over to just keep adding more cool shit and now nobody remembers it. Yeah. Very good example is, um... Scorn. You look at the amount of people that are complaining that it wasn't what they thought it was which I mean come on it's you gotta you gotta uh, take some responsibility there <laughs> Scorn was almost the other atomic heart, but it's not. Yep.
Because I had a shit ton of fun with Scorn. I, it left me feeling, I don't know, something depressed. <laughs> More depressed. It, um... to my health this time. But, um... Are those wizards of grand wizards? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Either way, I'm enjoying shooting them. Okay. It's, um... I thoroughly enjoyed Scorn. Absolutely. Super loved it. It is basically, I think the best way I can describe Scorn is a walking simulator. Did, did anybody else catch that? Scorn have overrated thirst bait but made of fleshy tentacles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a, honestly I was super I was super pumped for Atomic Heart. And then I think it was like the <laughs> would have been the last trailer, I think. The last trailer before release. Um, whatever trailer it actually showed, um, Whatever trailer it, where it actually showed, um, like, somebody other than, well, actually, somebody other than the player character, that actually showed, um, showed somebody else, and that's about the time she walked away from me. I think that's about the point that I was like, oh, there's like this person with a, a weird, you know, like um, a weird uh, interface thing on the side of their head. And <laughs> I think that was when I sort of decided 
You know what? I don't think I like that anymore. Never bring up Little Blink What I Do again. God, yeah, and then some schizo mods them to be kids. What the fuck, man? Seriously. But they are like, I, I get it, sort of, you know. Just as I get it doesn't mean I have to fucking like it. But they knew what they were doing with the trailer. And they knew that those two would become a fucking meme and... Oh my god, it's just been so done to death now. It's like, yes, we get it. You know. You want to fuck the robots. Don't we all? Yeah. Where, where's my freaking lifelike... To be enjoyed. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, eight foot tall vampire mummy step on me, big mummy milkers. That sort of happened organically. She wasn't designed to be a thirst trap. She was designed to be like a gigantic. Uh, let's. Uh, come on. Vampires are inherently sexy. There's no way around it. They are. It's like, you know, maybe they, maybe they did have that sort of thing in mind. You can use the crossbow to fly if you're pl Ah. It's like, you know, there was some... Some design aspect of yeah we're gonna make a super tall and she's gonna be hot because well, I mean to be honest she's a vampire like like I say vampires are inherently hot those will pass through enemies. And walls! Ah, oh, I love this. That's how you introduce a weapon. But, um... Like, she, she was maimed, of course. But... Excuse me. It, it, it felt, it felt. I don't know. Like the the community did it, rather than. I don't know. I just outright felt like the twins were made to be. They they knew what they were. They were going for. I mean, come on. You look at that trailer and you tell me that they they didn't do that on purpose. Changed my mind. <laughs> Whereas um you know, Lady D, she was I mean uh, her and her daughters they fit the theme. Like her daughters 
aren't copies of her. They're they're all completely different. They all look different and have you know different sort of abilities, if you like. So instead of just being like, oh, they're just you know copies of tall dummy mommy vampire, which which I mean, come on. They could have done that if they wanted to, but they didn't. Whereas Atomic Heart just felt like, here's our latest trailer, and oh look, you know, this robot flies up in the air and lands on your player character. Ooh, I was like, oh man, come on. Like, 1 800, come on, son. Yeah, Tomic Heart's theme is wonky, cartoony 1950s robots, and they just threw in the sexy ones. They're the only bots in the whole game who look like that. Now, you compare that to the early trailer. The very first trailer was the one that got me all friggin' hot and bothered. And I was like, holy shit, this looks amazing, you know. I, I expected a silent protagonist stuck in a you know, Soviet retro future gone mad, yada yada, and you're fighting all these out of control wacky robots and everything's a complete mess and, oh, there's even some, um, you know, some weird extra stuff going on with the goop. And it was when, I'm fairly certain it was when, yeah, it was, it was, the trailer where there was still no talking but they uh, they introduced the other characters and um, that was when I was like uh oh like you know it's not every game it has to What a mess. Not every game has to appeal to everybody. The game wasn't built for me. <laughs> oh, I like that. But it made me go, okay, I don't think I like it. I'm starting to worry about which direction this game is now going in. And, you know, for once, it, I was right. Because it turned out it wasn't. It wasn't what I wanted, it wasn't for me. Which is fine. But, you know, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Because they had such an awesome concept. If they had just stuck with it, and instead, they went and threw the frickin... The robot twins in and it feels like it just cheapened the whole experience. So that is just my humble and shitty opinion. And if everybody could, you know, frig off with the whole body, it's like, yes, we get it. it but no, you gotta, everybody's gotta freaking jump on the meme now. And, uh, just gotta, just gotta make sure that the entire world knows what a comedian you can be. Let's face it, I'm not fucking the funniest person in the world. If I was, well, shit, we got a problem. Mm. 
but I don't know, the whole thing just smacks of like, I don't know. Lowest common, you know? I think what broke you about it was that it was a game for you, then the last minute they tried to make it for everyone. My stand-up career! <laughs> What's the deal with airline food? Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Tense till you look. A little bastard. Right. I'll uh I'll finish that point in just a second. Yeah, I think what broke you about it was that it was a game for you, then at the last minute they tried to make it for everybody. That is the perfect way to put it. Seriously, that's it's the perfect way to put it. Because I saw it, and I got so excited over it, and it was... it was... I don't know, it was everything, it looked so good, it looked fantastic, it promised to be such a great game, and then it just wasn't, you know? It's like making a really good flavor of a spicy soup and then realizing more people are showing up so they dump water into it for quantity. Oof. Yeah. I mean, when you... When you do nothing but appeal to... try to appeal to I guess yeah. oh yeah I forgot about that <laughs> yeah you gotta watch those saw blades they're freaking vicious Um, it felt like they went from, oh, this, how well is this going to be received? And instead of, instead of just going with it, really. They more so just that. It's not what I wanted. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, instead of like, I don't know, we're gonna make this really, really awesome game. I'm gonna stick to the original vision. It feels like they they did exactly that. Uh oh, now we're gaining attention. 
well, we've got to make it appeal to even more people. And, uh, it's just, the original trailers just made it look like everything that I've hoped. So instead, now we've got another, another post 2010s cringy protagonist that just won't shut the fuck up. Why do they never shut up? They just, and the hand, like the glove, never shuts up because they just. <laughs> it's always it feels like every protagonist just has to have got to have the one-liners all the time. They've got to be saying stuff, obvious stuff, all the time. And it's like, you, you do understand that, like, players aren't fucking stupid. <laughs> Rub the lotion on skin. No hose for me. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Wow, I walked backwards into a teleporter, I think. At, um... Yeah, it's just like everybody's got to have, every protagonist has to have the quips and the the, the funny one-liners and, you know, nobody, nobody can shut the fuck up for bloody two seconds. Like, it's always got to be talking, there's got to be constant talking, if you're not talking, you're not to, you got to talk, you got to talk, you got to, it's just like, just shut the fuck up. Just sanctum of the worry. Okay, yeah, that is it. It just like oh boy. Where is it? Fuck it. Them dude boys are at it again! Freaking homing. Damn homing projectiles. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Yeah, learn from Gordon Freeman. The, I think the thing that really frustrates me about Atomic Heart is that, and like all the reviews I've watched and read say the same fucking thing, is things that will automatically put me off a game straight away. <gasps> And that's a badass protagonist. It's like, are they, are they, you know, are they Ash Evil Dead badass? Or are they Duke Nukem? Duke Nukem forever badass. Mmm. One of these is good. The other is absolutely not. Can you guess which is which? Hey, yeah, four out of four secrets. Through the gates. It just, uh, it just feels they're all the same. None of them is a, sorry, I finished my thought. All the reviews, it's always the same. The glove does not shut the fuck up. The protagonist does not shut the fuck up. And, you know, all right, cool, that's fine. Whatever, I, I can deal with that. Except they don't shut the fuck up in the middle of anything. It's like... Uh, one of the reviews I watched, he's actually like on the ground struggling with this freaking robot trying to bloody bash his head in or whatever. Like this robot is on top of the protagonist. And he's, you know... Get the fuck off me, asshole. Jeez, you just don't get the fucking second dude. So yeah, they're in the middle of a battle, you know, there's things on top of the player character, like Annie's It's 
that the player character is like clearly struggling to get this thing off. And meanwhile, he's just having this casual conversation with his glove. Like, I mean, I understand. You can't have a dynamic conversation for every actual outcome or whatever. But there is like so much talking that they're in the middle of a freaking firefight and they're just casually talking about whatever and it's like what <laughs> why what why Do, did they need to include that much talking i i don't think so it's Let's have an exposition dump in the middle of an, a massive firefight. That, and honestly, the player character is just not fucking likable. It's, it just falls into that dude bro frickin' yeah, every, every second fucking line on the opening is it's a yes glove, I know glove. And it's like, well I fucking don't. So how about you shut the fuck up. And shut the fuck up Friday. And let the fucking glove explain what's going on. Because I fucking don't understand. Just because freaking Joey McFucking dickface does. Old man yells about fucking FPSs. Seriously. That's how it feels sometimes. But like... What's my... Do I... Okay, yeah, F6. Um... I mean, judging by some of the judging by a lot of the reviews that were coming in, actually, uh, definitely not the only one that feels that way. So. Not that I actually care enough to be like, listen to me and my opinion, because it's correct. Because, you know, it's not. It's a, it's a very subjective thing. But at the same time, it's, um... There's some things that just seem to be almost universally hated. One of which is... Unlikable fucking player character. Excuse me, Mr. Trooper. Yes, hello, buddy. Can you please be careful not to knock my coffee over? But like an unlikable player character immediately puts me off the game and I will within five minutes turn around and fucking close it down and uninstall it. I mean prime example, Duke Nukem Forever. Look what they look what they did to my boy. Massacred him. And they fucking did. Not like Duke was a Trooper, are you quite right? What's up? Hmm? What's up? He's, he's using my mouse hand to scratch his chin. Which is, you know... Would be adorable if it's not going to get me killed. Yes, mister. Do you... Are you quite right? Now he's sniffing my fucking... Was decan.
but it's like I don't know immediately after hearing uh, immediately after hearing God, but the uh, the atomic heart player character to actually speak was when I was like I was worried about this before, and now I just... I don't... I really don't want this! Oh man. Come on, piss as a fart trying to bloody... Oh. I gotta wait for the frickin' beer to bloody... Trooper, yes, I know. You're there. Don't have time to play with myself. Speaking of Duke, but I feel like that's a a good example is Duke Nukem Forever Duke. He just. There is just so much that they they fucked up with him. I'm gonna die. I mean, it's not like he was a very I wouldn't say likable is the word, but you know. It wasn't like Duke was supposed to be a likable character to begin with, but then what they they did with him is just what the fuck, man. It wasn't supposed to be that unlikable. between having somebody that you're not supposed to really I guess identify with and having somebody that I'm going to want to play come on Frickin' rhythm, right? Oh, Just wanna get the goodies. Sir, I am trying to collect goodies off a wall. You could kindly fuck off. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. But, um, I mean, that's what, that's where else Atomic probably completely fell down for me, is hearing, hearing the English voice actors' lines and just, God, it just, it just sounds, I don't know, it's not, it's not written, not written very well. I guess. That's like... 
I mean, like I said before, it's like, yes, Glove, I know, I've been here before, or whatever, and it's like, well, fucking we haven't. So, you know, how about you? That was silly, walking right into that. How about, um, you just... Don't like that. This door opens elsewhere. Mm -hmm. You're gonna come alive, you son of a bitch. God, you never know when they're going to and when they're not. Keep saying it's when they showed the NPCs. When I saw the NPCs in that trailer was when I went, I don't think I'm gonna like this and turns out I was right. It's funny because then you get these people that, um, oh, nice, made off with the mortar. I mean, I see a lot of people that were complaining about Scorn, and it's like, well, that sounds, it's, everything they're saying is like, well, it sounds like you didn't really pay attention to what the game was trying to tell you or I don't know fucking anything <laughs> oh I love me a good freaking a good siren in the distance Yeah, I mean, there's lots of people that are like... I, I don't know, they were... That was just like the stupidest shit. I don't know, lots of people are just complaining about the stupidest shit. Like... Oh, the, the combat sucks, and it's like, well, I don't know, it feels like you can drip fed a diet of nothing but fast-paced first-person shooters, and when you're given one where you actually aren't an amazing badass that can take fucking, you know, five mortars to the face, well then you don't know what to do with it, do you? So, we're gonna dusk. I mean, this scorn is about, like, immediately, you are this. You, you can see straight away that you are a meat popsicle um I mean you can you can tell straight away that you are not going to be taking down oh excuse, excuse me you're not going to be taking down freaking titans anytime soon you are a, a sloppy Oh, wait. You are a sloppy fucking piece of meat. You are a fleshy freaking thing. And everything hates you and it's going to kill you. It's everything is out to cause you pain. 
A sacred level hidden in each chapter. Well-designed city level. It's always welcome. Enjoyed the hell out of scorn. And it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. But I read so many reviews from people that were like. I don't know. I just read like. Uh, why so weak? Why can't shoot? Ooh. Uh, combat? No. Combat bad. It's like, well, fucking take two minutes to freaking think properly. And, you know, take in the world and look around you and realize that you're just a, a fleshy fucking meat thing. You know, it's, would you be able to fucking take body the punishment that is fucking dealt, dealt out to you in most of these fucking games? All of these games? No. <laughs> wasn't meant to be a... Wasn't meant to be a... Uh... It's not meant to be a, a badass freaking kill everything zippity doo da you you are vulnerable like that's that's by design and i think that's more i mean it is partially partially the buyer's problem for buying it without actually, you know, looking into things. And a big portion of it is uh, the fact that um, Ebb Gaming, like they didn't really market it very well, I feel. certainly feels like a missed opportunity to actually explain a bit about what the game was going to be, etc, etc, instead of just... Like, I enjoyed that I, had, I went in blood and I knew absolutely nothing about the story or the game. I had to learn it as I went along. That's really cool sometimes. But not, you know, not all the time. It doesn't work that way for everybody, not everybody's going to see it the same way. So, but seeing people like, I don't know, seeing people complain that they're, you know, their supposed first person shooter wasn't a first person shooter. It's like, it's not. It's, I'm completely missing the point. But, oh. me and my, me and my shitty hot takes. Actually, I shouldn't say shitty hot takes. It's more than me and my opinions. And that's all they are. Take them or leave them. I don't mind. 
Opinions, assholes, etc. We all know how it goes. No, you're kidding me. Ah, oh, come on. Man. No! God damn! and disappointed that uh, Atomic turned out the way it did. It's just a real shame because it looks like there is a lot of game in there and a lot of fun to be had, but it just... gonna be mired under <sighs> mired under a, a ton of problems just an absolute crap ton of problems studios should have figured out by now what does and doesn't make a good title I mean really surely it's I don't know am I just asking too much like I really don't think I am. Not every game obviously has to be the same. That would be boring as shit. But... I don't know, just... school shooter instincts just told me something was off and there uh, lo and behold Do you think the studios by now should uh Oh nice, that was fantastic. That um really feels like they they should understand what makes a good game. I mean it's is it that is it that difficult? I don't know. 
Rod didn't tell me. Looks like they get so much wrong still these days. It's the this don't need to be I don't need to be multi billion dollar freaking epics to bloody be a fun freaking title. Case in point. Just mm. trying to see if I got out of bounds it. But. Like this. This is fairly simple level design and whatnot. But I'm having a hell of a good time with it. Little bastards. Design is so the design is so tight that it's that's what makes it fun. How the hell do you flush a prick? <laughs> but, as I said before, my shitty opinion. One man's trash and another man's trash. As the saying goes. And that's perfectly fine because if we all like the same things, it really, uh. It'd be a pretty freaking boring place, to be honest.
beer and then take a drink myself. It's 6 a.m. 6.05 a.m. Hey. Ah. Yep, now it's started. Finish, uh, finish this level, chapter, level, I don't know. Either way, we'll finish this up. Soon, I would say. Okay, I think that's everywhere. Ah, yes, I can hear this. and the sound design and this is so good. Probably going to say that multiple times throughout the playthroughs. <gasps> oh jeez. Excuse me. But honestly they are. It's so good. Terrible. Don't take any damage on level to get the untouchable award. Christ. Creations. Are you prepared for what's next? I highly doubt it. the the uh, the chapter end up possibly I'm not entirely sure but it's certainly feeling that way
those puzzles always piss me off. Every time I have to do one of these, I'm always like, give me some sort of clue, give me, give me an idea, don't just, yeah, just, you know, just brute force it, just random it, like that, I mean, there's no indication of what to do except just stand there and hope for the best, so.
there's a secret. Interesting. Oh. The meat hook wounds in your back still throb as you make your way down the cold, black, and bloody hallways that once held those monstrous creations. You leave the little town of dust behind, living with the corpse of the possessed, hoping to never to return. In the distance, stand imposing silhouettes of what appears to be military facilities. But why? A dark voice pushes you forward. Do you truly seek answers, or is it simply too late to turn back? Continue the Dusk Experience in Episode 2, The Facilities. say that's me for now but um uh, thank you everybody for joining drop by whether you're watching live watching later on the vods or youtube etc it was a good time so uh i'll be back again very soon um my voice is a little bit croaky but um yeah, fingers crossed I'll uh I'll be back again soon. Uh but until then, thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Good night. Good morning. Whatever it is. Good tie.